I tested how smart Counter-Strike pros actually are. A plan was to set up questions no one dares to ask pros from easy to hard, including some extra tricky ones, and as a grand finale, a chooser from Unipixel. But now, my name is Nate King, here are all the Astralis pros, and the first question, does USP do more damage and silence? Uh, uh, I answered, I answered. Okay. Of course not, even if Steven in matchmaking says it does. <laughs> Yo, remove the dildo and enjoy 2x damage. Wait, really? A correct answer gives everyone one point and whoever has the most points in the end gets to be the smartest CS pro out there and wear this bad boy forever. Next up, which skin is more valuable in factory new condition, a howl or dragon lore? Any ideas? Dragon lore. Uh, dragon lore, yeah. Okay. Everyone okay, okay. Same again. Yeah. Everyone dragon lore. Now it's pistol round and you have armor, would you rather take Take four shots to the body or four shots to the legs. We're stuck here around. You need to look. Okay. Yeah, look. Blame. <laughs> Everyone answered the same, and all of them are correct. Aim for the legs, not for the head. Alrighty, how many seconds till the grenade explodes? 1.7 seconds or 2.9 seconds? And don't throw nades, don't throw nades, just, <laughs> just so you can count, okay? 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, Clay with 1.7, so at least someone loses a point here. Three, two, one, right click it. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Thank you for looking at me. I appreciate yeah. it looking at each other and not with you. Question number five. Can one Zeus hit kill two guys? <laughs> Who is the brave one? Okay, we have to count down. I'm brave, I'm brave. <laughs> okay, five no's. <laughs> Oh, five five no's, no's. Okay, five no's. A tricky question. All Australis guys think it's no, and now the experiment. I'll do it. I'll do it. First guy to the hand. Yeah, the correct answer is no. Hey. Woo! Nice. Let's go. Yes, it's a no. Clay stays in the lead. Others right behind him. Now, what's the highest you can fall from without taking any damage? One of these plateaus is the absolute maximum where you can fall. It's either one nine two or two one five. So let's see. Okay. I'm what hiding. Tell me when I <laughs> tell me when I should come back. So let's start the experiment. Device, drop down and let's see if you lose HP. No HP lost, but it can still be wrong answer. Oh, what was that? I'm still cool HP. Okay. You won't. HP lost. Lost. HP lost. A correct answer, 215 units. Device and Clave got it wrong, which makes our live standings more interesting. Next up, it's time to test their memory. They're gonna run into a room where they can see 12 different items for around half a minute. Then they come back and I hit them with a question related to those 12 items. You as a viewer can play along. Go. Open the doors, go in, and you have around half a minute. So you can talk, you can you can say what you see, you can trick others. Can you write it down? Mm, I mean, <laughs> you really can't. Boss is cheating. Boss is cheating. Oh. I see it. How am I cheating? Five more seconds. Four. Wait, three, I didn't look. I didn't look. Two. One. Let's go. Okay, out. Let's, let's go. go out. And now the question: Which one of those items weren't there? A diffuse kit, M4A4, clock, or tablet? Oh no! Everyone with clock. The one item that wasn't there was, of course, clock. We move on to number 8 and it's a test, one of my favorite tricky ones, they can buy all the grenades and have 5 throwing attempts to stay in this corner and get a smoke to land on this small roof device to kick things off. Oh. Okay, that's one. I can say there's a trick that makes it very simple. Oh, that's close, that's close. Oof. Unlucky. What ah, group close is one, it? Close one. Device used most of his tries on smokes. Didn't work out. Next up, Buzz. Good luck, Buzz. And now the fifth. Again, oh. no outside of box thinking. No one has used any other nate than a smoke yet. Maybe Sipnix does. That's yeah, well. that's that's oh. okay. No. That's one. You might be onto yeah. something. Did you can use Mali? Uh, yeah. Oh. Hey, the clutch minister showing what high IQ can do from the get go. Now blame F. Oh. Okay, and f wow. Way Two attempts. And you were very concerned that you had had all the dates, so I knew it from the beginning. Very straightforward, easy for blame. Lastly, Mr. IGL Clave. Oh, it's the matter. Can I just try with smoke without. Uh, yeah, but that's your second attempt. Yeah, but doesn't matter. You don't think I deserve that for one throw? I mean, that oh. was amazing. Clave decides to play with fire, quite literally. Okay, that's three attempts, by the way. If you I fail the molly it. now. Okay, nice. Oh. 
I thought it was gonna hey, we five. Five. <laughs> with five. With the last attempt, Clave takes it home. Here are the current standings. Antis next test can shuffle the scores quite a bit. They have five different skins in front of them. Terchap is to make a line from the lowest value till the highest value skin, and each correct placement gets them one point. So anyone who knows skins well can earn five points in total with this test. 90 seconds of time. Good luck. And yeah, now you can examine. Oh, I mean, you, you can look around because. What? Uh, Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking around? <laughs> Meanwhile, they're sorting out their skin lines. Uh, we have no idea. This video is sponsored by Logitech G, and we will be giving away three Pro X keyboards, three Super Lights, and three new Epic G Pro headsets. Oh just, my god. What? Just watch the video from the start till finish and answer under Astralis's last tweet how many different knives you could see in POV view throughout the video. Nine winners will be announced in around two weeks on their Twitter, so follow and good luck. So how do you feel about your line, guys? Let's just go with this. Yeah, let's just go with this. Device got three points. If this is Blames 1, Blame got two. Second, Minus so backwards, Nick. <laughs> no, no, no. If it's backwards, it's zero, but Deagle and Max 7 are actually in correct spots. Clave, okay, so Clave actually got three points. Because Clave... Oh my god! This line is correct. Yeah. Oh my god. And somehow, Buzz nailed his challenge with all five skins in the correct placements and moved himself on the top of the leaderboard. Next question, what's the maximum step size you can simply run on to? 14, 18, 23 or 25 units? This is easy. This is easy. This, this is easy? easy? Oh, yeah, that one's really easy. Let's answer. Let's answer. 18, 18, 18. <laughs> Again, as a proper team, everyone with the same answer, 18 units, which is also correct maximum step size. Alrighty, how long does a smoke grenade last in CS2? Around 17 seconds or around 20 seconds? 3, 2, 1, and answers now. And oh, I can yeah, see that yeah, you are yeah. copying from each other. <laughs> 17 seconds would be correct for CSGO, but in current CS2 beta, smokes last for 20 seconds, so no points from this round. Thank you very much, Late King. Appreciate it. <laughs> now, has Device won more or less than 16 HLTV MVP awards? More <laughs> or less, okay? okay. Our, co our coach would love this one. Three, two, one, more or less. Answers in the chat. Oh my no. god. And at oh least god. we have some variety, guys. Congratulations for the variety. Said, I would have said more, but I hit number two. Let's have Device introducing us the answer. It's more, right? Because Symbol has the record and he took it when I had maybe 18. More is correct, as according to Liquipedia, Device has won 19 Agile TV MVP awards. Crazy stuff. Unlocal. Pros have 60 seconds to come up with the longest pro nickname in the scene. The longest name gets two points. Let's go. There's one very good answer who has even played on a major. Ooh, quickly. This is GG. Time is up, and here are everyone's best guesses. Device with the longest name, Pasha Biceps, earns two points from here. My best guesses would have been Gratisfaction and not that well-known Professor Chaos. Next up, a picture question. How old is Forrest on that picture? It's CSGO. Uh, no, no. Okay. Any numbers you want to call out publicly? 15. 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Yeah. And we do have one pinpoint accurate guess. Correct answer is 23. Blame F spot on and we give him two points for that. We're gonna move on with the pre-last test before the grande finale. Randomized spawns and the first one to get their smoke to land in window room will win two points. Second one will get one point. Let's go. Okay, we can see two instant smokes. Two instant smokes. I threw it first. I threw it first. One didn't land. And now two landed. What? Bus one landed first. Device Yo, landed second. Yes! Bus was the fastest window smoker and gets two points. Device earns one point for being second. I let them pick a map, which one they want to race on. Their mission is to go from T spawn to both of the bomb sites to then CT spawn finish with the quickest time possible. Bus, the only one who wants to do it on Inferno. Others picked Nuke. Nice, we have some variety. Oh, yeah. Device first. Let's go. Good luck. Yeah, they're looking at the screen. Ah, okay. Okay, nice. Press E, wait till you get it. Okay, this is it. E -E -E. Okay, that's actually interesting route. Yeah, that's, that's in CT spawn. Nice CT spawn there, yeah. <laughs> Next up, blame F. Let's see. Oh, wow, that was smoother. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. can you think the same thing. Don't run to rain. Now, Sipnix. Oh, wow, how did you do that? One. That's more of a route I would use from B to ramp to CT. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Got it. And clave to finish nuke runs. Which which route is quicker? 
Ramp looks pretty fast. Buzz, the lonely wolf on Inferno. Let's see how it works out and which route he picks. This is a huge advantage. Hag it, hag it, hag it, hag it. Nice. Yeah, he's uh, okay. Yeah. yeah that is good. Oh, that's like me. Decently. Nice. Okay, tell me when I can do it. Now? Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well played to Buzz. Here are the results for the race. Sip was fastest one on Nuke. Two points. Clave second, adding one point to his name. Now these are the total points after 16 questions slash tests. Buzz in the lead with 15. But now the final question comes from Unipixel. And it's of course yes, skins sir. related. Yes, and take sir. a bet how many of their points they want to put on the line. If they later answer the question correctly, they get the same amount of points added to their score. If not, they lose all the points they bet here. And as you can see, leader Buzz going for conservative play, betting zero points, all others put something, if not all on the line. And now the question, if a skin has a float value of 0.35, what is the condition name it appears in? It's a trick question as well. I mean, is it a trick question really? I have no clue, honestly. I have no clue as well. 0.35, that's pretty high enough. Time is up. A correct answer is field tested, bus, bet zero points, and answered well worn, no points lost, clave, bet 12 points on the line, and answered battle scarred, which is not correct either. Clave finds himself at zero points, oh right where he started. Sip, bet three points, and answered minimal wear, again wrong, so Sip ends up with 10 points overall. Blame F at one point, and answered minimal wear as well final score 11 for blame device who knows the most about skins bet 12 points if he answered correctly he takes it home if not then bus wins and device answered well worn which results in total one point hey device how did you not know it so the youngest one today bus takes it home there's only one way you can see me and astralis collaborate again if you simply spam the like button like there's no tomorrow bye